Hi guys, I'm back with another video of how to smooth your skin and how to achieve a healthy and glowy skin. And if you don't know me, I'm Nun and passionate about sunscreen and skincare. I'll talk about it all the time in my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be the first one to see my video. Also, you might want to follow me on Instagram where I post a lot about sunscreen and skincare and sometimes give away if you might be interested in. For the last episode, I'll talk about how to cleanse your skin properly to achieve a smooth skin. So this episode, I'm going to continue to this topic and I'm going to guide you guys how to moisturize, how to protect your skin, as well as exfoliate your skin. And to prepare your skin for those important coming up holidays, especially Christmas. It's for me. <laughs> okay, um... Joke aside, if that's something you're interested in, I encourage you guys to stick around and let's get started. <laughs> also, I want to let you guys know that I have a little shop called Amacy on Shopee. I imported some products like from Korea, uh, like I Unique and Perito. And if the lines that you interested in, you might want to check it out at my Amacy shop. Okay, um, I feel like. I've never talked about this before. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's been like two months since I doing a sh that the shop on Shopee, and of course the product is authentic, a hundred percent, and I can guarantee you with my reputation. <laughs> Alright, so the next tip that to moisturize your skin well, and you will say, oh, I already knew this. You don't need to tell me. Okay, some people they they would they would ask me like, oh, I, I have all this skin. Do I still need uh, a moisturizer? Hell yeah, you need baby. And then another person would ask me like, oh, I I actually I used some serum and accent and toner already. I toned myself already. Um, so why why do I need a moisturizer, honey? You would need a moisturizer to kind of lock well, all the nu nutrition and all the good stuff in your skin before you go to sleep or before you go out and enjoy your day. The reason is your skin looks super oily is that it does not have enough moisture that you didn't moisture well. Is that it have your skin have to do double work um, to like, hey, our skin is drying here, let's do some oil. For oily skin, you will you want to looking for something lightweight and something that is fast to absorb and, and it has some like starry, super straight ingredients like niacinamide which it helps to reduce the oiliness in your face and helps to reduce the size of your pores as well and help with their inflammatory properties and also help to treat acne mildly as well. So this uh, actually is really a good stuff for you to go for. Um, nice and the ingredient that I love. And, uh, and for dry skin, you want to look for something like thicker uh, with a thick cream. And, and you want to look for something like shea butter, um, kernel oil, or you want to look for something like mineral oil, dimethicone. I heard you. I heard you. I just say mineral oil. Yes, and I will say it again. Mineral oil. And if you think that mineral oil is bad, it's... it's Absolutely, it's not bad, and it's been proven by dermatologists and scientists that it is not bad when you use in the beauty industry. The mineral oil you think is bad is when they use in the heavy industry. Um, so the mineral oil is one of the safest ingredient that has the low percentage of irritate your skin. When people with eczema, they, their dermatologist will help to stress them to use CeraVe products or less like, um, Cetaphil or for some medical products would contain mineral oils or even Vaseline. Like, like Vaseline being used for their case to like, help with a lot of uh, things like burning itches and, and excessively dry. So yeah, it can heal all the things. The medical is also really, really good. Um, silicone and help to emollient and help to lock the moisture in your skin. So you're looking for something rich. I'm, I'm gonna recommend you uh, some of the products, so don't worry. Well, also the key to moisturize your skin is that after you take a shower, you want to apply a moisturized cream or a moisturizer lotion or whatever it is to help to moisturize 
moisturize your skin in your damp skin and you don't want to wait until your skin is dry um, because uh, when your skin is still damp it um, is at a state that is help to penetrate your skin deeper and and help to moisturize your skin immediately well it will help to release the, the dryness for dry skin and it also help to release the oiliness uh, production uh, from your oily skin so that's a good point that I want you to keep in mind. <laughs> so the next thing that I've been experiencing that and it helped me pretty much with my, the complexion of my skin and the texture of my skin, it helped my skin smoother than ever is to exfoliate the skin. So you might ask how often do I exfoliate my skin? The answer is it depends on your skin condition. For example, me, I've been using chemical exfoliants like for months and months. I get used to it and I can use it. I push it to daily use. It's totally okay for my skin. Uh, but for your skin, um, you can see like how much your skin can bear on uh, your exfoli uh, chemical exfoliant. Oh, uh, uh, one thing I forgot. So exfoliant means that I would recommend you to use chemical exfoliant instead of physical exfoliant so you actually can use physical exfoliant the problem with physical exfoliant is that you sometimes the feeling is too satisfied for you then you can over exfoliate your skin by rubbing your uh, your skin too hard uh, and I don't I don't encourage their motion the physical motion like that um, so then I just um, suggest you guys to move to their chemical exfoliant. So here are the chemical exfoliants. So for AHJ, we have glycolic acid, we have lactic acid, medilic acid, um, magic acid, tartaric acid, and citric acid. Um, I'm not gonna go each and every of them um, to, because the video is not gonna have time for that. So if you're interested in the chemical exfoliant, let me know. I can do another video just for you guys. So AHA, they will help to exfoliate the surface of your skin and uh, they will help uh, not only to get rid of the dead skin cell but also help to brighten your skin, dark spot, a scar or maybe post any inflammation that you have and they can help to brighten that and also help to hydrate your skin. So my skin, I actually love uh, lactic acid because my skin can tolerate it really well. Uh, well, like lactic acid is a little bit strong for my skin. So again, uh, you'll need to test on your skin on which acid will work well with your skin. Start at the low concentration before that you go high up concentration because, um, again, the high concentration doesn't mean that it will uh, give you a good exfoliant effectiveness. Uh, so keep in mind on that because y you can get more irritation and, and can get um, like to over exfoliate your skin. That is not going to be a good thing for you. I will really tell you to avoid that and start with a low concentration first. Unless you know your skin well and you, you've been this for a long time already, then you know what, what your skin wants. So for the skin that who wants some hydration and also help to render um, dark spots and have a mutation, I can can go with the AHJ. For BHJ, you will find it under the name salicylic acid, which is the most common type. Another name is uh, which rarely uh, appeared, I would say, but sometimes you can find it under the name of B10 salicylate, and another one is the willow bark extract. So the other two, they're not that common, and it's also there's less potent than their salicylic acid. So usually uh, we will choose the salicylic acid to treat black hairs and white hairs and other types of um, acne um, and I love salicylic acid I it's, it's just one of the uh, one of their superstar ingredients that to help me to smoothen your skin and to help to treat the black hairs in my face it's also it's also in my bag as well that when I had uh, bad knee. One thing about salicylic acid is it can be irritated your skin and it can also dry up your skin quite a bit. That's why I heard people say that BHJ will be suitable with people who have oily skin or acne prone skin. But but it doesn't mean that uh, when you have dry skin you cannot use BHJ. It's you can actually can just make sure that you moisturize your skin well and also um, you don't need to use BHJ for all. Of 
over、uh, your face, or you just need to apply at the area that you are, have acne, and and you want to treat. For example, like I will, I have acne in in my nose. Um, and in my, my nasal wings, that I just apply that, and、uh, the other part of 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 my skin, I don't need、uh, to treat because sometimes it can be a little excessively dry for my skin. So I'm、um, just be aware on that. If you find the SJ a little bit like irritate、uh, your skin, then you can use the 30 minutes method. Like you can apply that like, in 20 to 30 minutes method, and then you rinse it off. Research say that it's still as effective as to leave on the SJ product. Of course. It's it's not that strong comparing to the leave on、um, method, but it's still effective and it still help you to treat acne. Another chemical exfoliant is the PHJ. So the PHJ you usually will find it under the name. I would need to read it. I can remember a clue: leucolactone or galactose or lactobionic acid. Um, so it is a very gentle exfoliant. Type that even you have sensitive skin and tend to have redness, you can still use BHJ. And BHJ is not only exfoliate your skin, but it also will help to hydrate your skin. It's just like it's like you want something gentler than AHJ, but still hydrate your skin with BHJ. It also have a, a, a factor to help to brighten your skin because all the chemical acid,、uh, the way that they work is they help to exfoliate the, the skin cell. They help to Reduce the thickness of the stratum corneum. That's why they will allow、uh, new skin cells to come off of the surface, and that's why it looks brighter and it looks smoother. So that's why you can achieve a healthy and smoother skin. Hi guys, I just want to add a quick note that not every skin type will need an exfoliant. And if your skin has some issues like hyperpigmentation, it looks dull,、um, and it's not smooth. The textures look bad and it's not bright. Or you have blackheads, whiteheads, and and you have excessive oil on your skin. That yeah, maybe you want to explore an exfoliant method. But if your skin looks good and smooth, and you don't have blackheads and whiteheads, and you don't have anything with your skin. Then why you even rinse your skin with an exfoliant? Again, it has good thing. It works perfectly on my skin, but it doesn't mean that it works perfectly on your skin. So consider the drawbacks and research more before you go and choose a suitable and correct exfoliant for your skin. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> the next thing, can you guess what it is? Hmm. Yep, it is a sunscreen, and I'm a sunscreen freak. And I tell everyone to use the sunscreen, and it is one of the most important step that you use to maintain a healthy, beautiful, glowy, and and smooth skin. And if you want that, you better use a sunscreen. You better put on a sunscreen, man. If you don't. Don't know how to choose a sunscreen? Just buy a sunscreen, okay? A sunscreen would do more than no sunscreen at all. And if you don't know any sunscreen to choose, or what type of skin, okay? Here, I will help you choose. Even you don't know, just pick anything. Just just buy a sunscreen, okay? It is the process that you protect your skin, okay? So at night you will prepare, your skin will prepare, and at daytime you will need to protect your skin by using a sunscreen. Um, and if you use, I don't care, you use how many steps for your skincare. You can tell me by five steps, ten steps, fifteen, twenty steps. But without a sunscreen, those steps is just crap. This not gonna help. It's just wasting your time and your money. You don't want that. The sunscreen step is the one that to form a layer in your skin that to help to protect the skin from UV rays. Not only that, it also help to protect the skin from some other pollutants and um and other irritated chemicals and、uh, and elements around us in daylight. And blue lights also. We also have some blue lights、uh, in our homes, and in and we our skin exposed to that is also damage our skin slowly, right? So just put on a sunscreen, please. So the last thing I want to share with you is to have a smooth, clear skin is to have a good diet. Okay, so let's bring back my soy milk drink. I really. 
encourage you guys if you can you can cut uh, down your dairy daily uh, refined sugar or any refined food that you can find like refined grain or processed food it's just uh, unhealthy and it has, has bad carbs and in high content of sugar instead you can use brown sugar or palm sugar or maybe no sugar at all if you can uh, try to cut that and for dairy uh, instead of you cow dairy you can change to plant-based milk or nut milk like the one that I'm using is soy milk why this thing will help well with our smooth and clear skin okay so let me tell you so when we eat though uh, refined sugar and dairies and in dairies they have sugar as well then our body is will have a uh, increase of their glycemic index it is when it comes to our body it immediately turns to glucose and it will um, make our body reduce more insulin and when the insulin spies up to level down the insulin level the body will react by producing androgen hormones and these hormones is the cause to all the excessive oils and uh, excessive sebums in our face and that's why it locked our pores and it triggers the acne and breakouts and all the bad things uh, happen after that I don't know about you, but when I cut sugars and, and dairy, my skin feels so much healthier and it looks uh, glowy and it it's less chance to cause breakout. Those the foods like vegetables, plain space, uh, nuts and uh, cereals, brown rice uh, instead of jasmine rice. <laughs> I'm not telling you to cut all the candies and uh, chocolates and McDonald's and KFC. You can still eat it, but it's just in a limit uh, way. I'm trying to slow, slowly change um, to a healthier meal and trying to choose the food that has the low acidic index um, that will help uh, your skin to stay healthy. And yeah, when we stay healthy, then we will feel good. Who would love that? <laughs> okay, another freaking long video and I am so thankful that you stay until this moment. So Christmas is coming. I hope that you will maintain a healthy skin to celebrate those important holidays with your loved one and your family. Alright, so that's all the stuff that I want to share with you guys today. And I hope the information is useful to you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because when you subscribe it, the YouTube algorithm will know that you like those types of video and will suggest you some other helpful similar video to level your skincare journey and help you to achieve a perfect skin that you ever deserve. Alright, I will see you in my next video. I wish you have a healthy and glowy skin. I love you.